Good morning and happy Friday. So, I've given a lot of stuff out there and said a lot of things and I'm just waking up right now, but this is on my mind. So, I'm going to read this real quick for you. It's not very long, just 14 verses, one chapter. And you will see what I see, I believe. It says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am I also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint but willingly, not by filthy lucre, but a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. So it says God's flock will be on earth, and that you should run to it, and that you should do it willingly. And when the chief shepherd, the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you, be subject one to another. Be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resisteth steadfast in faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world, but the God of all grace, who hath called us into eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose, I have written briefly exhorting and testifying that it is true grace of God wherein ye stand. The church is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus, my son. So I am Marcus. In Revelations, the last video I sent you, it says that God will come down and that he will become Jesus' son and that Jesus will be his God and that God will walk the earth for a thousand years with the light of Jesus in him. And here it is absolutely says Marcus is the man now a lot of fools will try to tell you that this is talking about Mark who also goes by John but there's just no chance this whole thing was talking about the chief elder coming and saving the day and his name is clearly Marcus greet you one another with the kiss of charity peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus amen <clears throat> well if you don't know now you know